Well, on the housing front, it will blow rental growth. I think it'll also loosen up some of the resale supply when you have rents this strong. If you buy a single family home, you can never cash flow it by putting one family in it. But if you're willing to put 10 or 15 college kids in there and charge them 500 bucks a bed, all of a sudden you get real cash flow off of that. And you have seen that. That has been an absolute dynamic. Secondly, one of the things that we've noticed is ever since the housing market cooled in mid-2022, new listings have been very weak. And one of the interesting questions is like, well, where is all of that potential supply? Where did it go? There's a normal level of churn within the resale market and it's just not there right now. And I believe part of that is just because Canadians have gotten used to very short, shallow housing downturns. So we've sort of become accustomed to like, you just don't sell. And so consequently, Consequently, if we instead look at rental market listings on, for example, the MLS, they've spiked. And I think what's happening is people who would have sold are instead renting because of the strength of the rental market. If all of that starts to cool, I think it'll push some supply into the resale market. It'll loosen up the rental market. All of that's going to be a good thing. That's just on the housing side.